This is Doug Varenberg and welcome back to another set of tips and tricks. And today I'm going to tell you a little bit about the Skeeter bass boats and why they're engineered like no other. We're going to talk about the forward half of the boat today and what the bottom of the boat does. I mean everybody looks at the top and looks at how pretty the glitter and everything is. Today we're going to get underneath and I'm going to show you some really cool things of what makes Skeeter different than other boats. Let's go there. First thing we're going to do is we're going to start about the components of a boat. This is our keel that runs down here, and that's the surface that cuts the wave. We've got a good 20 degree keel with a 40 degree entry. Next, we have our strikes. We have different strikes here. And one of the things on the FX is it's really a sharp strike on it to help cut the water and really help turn it. Uh, we've got our primary running surface is where it flattens the keel turns into the flat surface towards the back if you get under a boat you can see that then we have our secondary running surface that's more your mid-range speed your primary is going to be your your high speed running then you have your secondary and then you have your tertiary which is basically your third running surface is more on on low plane speeds those three different planing speeds allows us to have this boat designed for high, great high speed maneuvering, great mid range, and great low speed planing surface speeds. Like if you were wanting to uh, water ski, we've got a turning chine here, and we have our secondary turning chine all the way along here. And what that does is helps turn the water to give you that skeeter smooth dry ride. And what we're going to do is we're going to show that. If you take your hand here, you can feel that trying to push your hand down if you're trying to come off here, off this lip. It's turned here to turn that water down and away. This is something you can check out at a boat show looking at different holes. With that, with that water coming across here, when it hits here, it starts turning. And it turns the water down and away from the boat to keep you dry. Any spray that comes off is turned down by the secondary chine. I'm going to show you that with a water hose Here, and how that works. I'm going works. to show you because I'm going to shoot the water to make it shows how it turns down. See how that water is turned down and away from the boat? If you get a spray, it's away from the boat. Anywhere along this surface. It's turning that water down and away. The water is turned down and away from the... If you watch this, you're going to get wet here. It turns that spray down and away from the boat. Not, it's not coming up. As we see it here, it sprays, the water hits here. And One of the other big down. things is the buoyancy coefficient. It's basically the distance from here out to here compared to the size, the distance from here to here. If you look, this is very narrow from your deck. The Skeeter's widest point is right in front of the console. So when you come down, you have a lot of boat pad helping manage that water and make that ride a lot smoother when it comes down. If you've got a very narrow side here, which if you look at boats, their side will actually come way in, and you're only dealing with a little bit of the bottom of the boat for uh, wave absorption. With this big wide area that the Skeeter's got all the way across here, the buoyancy coefficient helps that bow come down smoothly. You're not slapping that water hard and hard every time you hit a wave. You can power through them waves and it's smoother, it's drier, and it gives you a better ride. I hope you, that helped you learn a little bit more about the design engineering in the Skeeter Bass Boat. It's a really incredible story. We've only started about the first half. The back half gets more interesting and we'll talk about that later. But the design of the back end, the back 48 inches of a boat helps the front and how you design it. As we talked about, the widest point of a Skeeter is right here at the console. If you look at this constant curvature, it's truly amazing what these engineers have been able to do. 
because of the design of the back, it allows them to do a lot more with the front of the boat to make it a smoother, drier, drier ride. So next time you're at the boat show or next time you're out checking the dealers, check out underneath the boat and learn how other people are doing it. Not everybody does it the same, but Skeeter has a very unique way to manage water to keep it smoother and drier for you. Thank you for tuning in to another Tips and Tricks, and tune in later as we go more in detail into the Skeeter boat and the Skeeter difference.